Aloha kindergarten friends. Uh, we are going to be talking about maps this week. So my first question to you is, what is a map? So a map is a drawing of all our part of our earth. Now, why do we need maps? Well, the purpose or why we need something of a map is to show us where things are. So how many of you have ever gone on a trip before and you didn't know where you were going? Maybe even down here, you're going to someone's house and you weren't sure where they lived. Well, a lot of times we'll use what's called GPS to help us find our way. And sometimes that's, you know, on our cell phones, will we'll guide us to where we're going. Some other maps that we have, this is an example of like a street map. And you can see over here, the heart is where my house is. And then this is another example. This is like a fire safety map. And so this would show where the safe spot is in the event there was a fire at my house. We live on the Outer Banks and there's lots of cool maps that are just special to our area. So there's maps of where all the lighthouses are. There's another um, map that has all the cool shipwrecks. I don't know if any of you've been down to Oregon Inlet and saw the shipwreck that is down there, but they actually have maps of all the different ships and where they you know, ran aground or wrecked. So this is another map. And this is actually a t-shirt map. This is one of my t-shirts. And you can notice on my map that um, it is the Outer Banks where we live. And you can kind of see some of the cool things that we have. So if up, up top, you can see like the horse where in Kerala, there's the wild horses. And down below right here, there's the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. That's kind of a famous spot. And I'm gonna show you the front. This is a surf and spoon shirt. So the purpose of this map is so people can find Surf and spoon, it's kind of right there in the middle. It's hard for me to see where the spoon is. So that's just an example of like a map that somebody made just so you can find where their business is. So one of the things that we're gonna talk about is what is on our map. And we call those map features. So maps have kind of three main things. The first is title or the name. So in this example, this is um, Hawaii is the name of my map. The second thing that a map has, or the second feature, is a key. Sometimes it's called a legend. And so down here, the key tells you what's on the map. So my first challenge for you, using our key, is can you locate the land and the water on my map? So let's take a look. If you look at the key, what color does it say the land is? If you said green, you got it right. And what color do you think the water is? Blue, so all of this is blue. And if I look over here, it's representing the Pacific Ocean. And then the land, those are all the different islands. And so the third feature of a map is called a compass rose. And so down here, you can see I've got some directions. So I have north, south, east, and west. And that just tells you the direction. So if you're looking um, you know, for directions to go somewhere, it would tell you which, you know, which way you're headed. Are you headed to the north or are you headed down south? Um, maybe another direction. So now that we've talked about the features of a map, let's talk about the physical features of a map. And this week we're gonna be do making our very own physical map. So a physical map is basically a map of land and kind of like the things in nature that it has. So on this example, you can see some physical features. And so let me show you what they are and then let's see if we can identify them. So I have a couple physical features and this represents a river, a mountain, a lake, a hill, a volcano, and an island. Now these two in purple, these aren't necessarily physical features. These are more on like a political map, which would be roads and cities, but they're also common in maps and we might use those at another time. So these are the ones we're gonna be kind of focusing on. And there's even more, you can have forest on there. Um, there's lots of other um, ideas. So let's go back to our map real quick. So can you find the volcano? And 
how about maybe the mountains? And you can see the really tall mountain because I put a little snow at the top. And this is my heart island. I have a lake, a river. Um, so all of these are examples of things that you can use on your map when you go to make one. So let's try and use the compass for just a second. So if I were to point right here to the volcano, which direction do you think I would need to go to get to the hills? So I need to go down. But if I use my compass, that letter S stands for south. So if I actually go south, I will get to the hills. So that's just an example of how you would use the compass rose. So when you go to make your map, you are actually gonna be what's called a cartographer. Now cartographer is a person who draws maps. So that's what we're gonna do this week. And I thought it might be fun to do maybe like a pirate map. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can take a grocery bag and you can cut the bottom off and cut down the side and open it up. And look at all this paper you can use for your map. Now to make it look really old, you can ball it up and you can crinkle it and it's gonna give it this pirate map look. So here's my pirate map. And I decided since we were talking about butterflies and symmetry that I would make a map of Butterfly Island. Now your map this week, again, it's fiction fake. So you can make up whatever you want. You could do like a skateboard island. Maybe you want it to be um, in the shape of the first letter of your name, or maybe you just want it to be kind of like a blob shape like Miss Farrell's. It can be whatever you want. So the things that you're gonna have on your map, let's go back to some of those things. There's three things that you need on your map this week. So the first thing you need is a title. The second thing that you need is a key. And then the third thing is you need to have three physical features on your map. So that just means pick three of these things. So you could do any of them. You could have um, land, you could have a lake, hills, mountains, volcano, river. There's two little lakes. Um, yours could be kind of like land and there's no water around it, kind of like mine. Or you could have it be an island. It can be whatever you want. So be creative, have fun. Um, I'm gonna attach, um, if you have a printer at home and you want to print some images of these physical features. You can have your parent print those for you and glue them on. You can use markers just to color them. Um, and then the other thing is you could do what I did and you can cut out other pieces of paper and kind of use shapes. Notice I used like a triangle on some of mine um, and maybe even circles to help me. So those are just some tips to help you with your map project this week. I hope you have fun and be creative. And we are again working on our physical maps this week. So next week we'll be talking a little bit more about maps, but I hope you guys have fun with your project and I can't wait to see, just like your other teachers can't wait to see um, pictures of your maps. Bye friends.